Hi, and welcome to another episode of Starship Gaming. Well, it is almost 4th of July, or Independence Day, in the United States. So, I figured, you know, why not make a video about five games that you could play on the 4th of July, or Independence Day. So, here's our list. And I know a lot of people have told me in the past, you make a lot of lists, like a lot of top five and whatnot. And I'm, I'm like, you know, people like to hear them. So here we are with another one. So let's get started. Uh, the first game on our list is a pretty obvious one to play on Independence Day. Independence Day for the Sony PlayStation or PS1, if you want to call it that. Uh, it was also released for uh, Sega Saturn. Based on the 1996 movie of the same name, Independence Day is basically a, well, if you want to call it a jet fighting game or however you want to call it. Um, air combat? Let's call it air combat. Air combat game. Uh, where you basically fight enemy alien aircraft. And this one is absolutely one of the perfect games to play on Independence Day or 4th of July in the United States. Even though it's not the greatest game in the world, but it's something to play to celebrate the holiday pretty much. Yeah. Moving on then, the next one on our list is another air combat game, and it's one of my personal favorites. Ace Combat 2 for the Sony PlayStation. This game I absolutely love. I have had this one uh, in the past. Uh, I actually own it now, but uh, way back when I didn't have it. I originally uh, used to rent this game a lot from my local Blockbuster video, which was inside of a Kroger store. And I, it was one of the frequent games that I, I had rented. Um, it was... Uh, Trying to think, Ace Combat 2, The Grinch, which came out in 2000. I used to rent them in like late 2000, early 2001. Um, there was a couple others. But basically, you fight enemy aircraft, and what's more patriotic than that? So if you have this game, it's definitely one you want to give a try uh, at on the 4th of July. Um, of course, uh, I want to state again, this is for the... Um, Independence Day for the United States. Of course, if you have your own Independence Day from another country, you are more than welcome to borrow this list because you'll come to find that a lot of a lot of this is can be carried over to uh, to other meanings. Of course, not all of them are related to air combat or military games. As you'll see in a minute, uh, we'll be covering some other games that anyone can play. Of course, um, we're going to get into a, a couple. Um, at least two of them that I know of are my personal favorites that you can play on this day. So let's go on and, and move on ahead. The next one on our list uh, is Mario Party for the Nintendo 64. And this game is perfect for 4th of July because you can get the whole family together and you can play like party games together and then start to realize how much you really hate each other after you, you know, after you've played this game. I mean, this game is like a friendship destroyer. Like, it's torn families apart for nearly two decades. I remember one year uh, on an actual legitimate 4th of July, I had a friend growing up named Greg, and he had Nintendo 64 games that I did not own. One of them was Mario Party. And we actually sat down and played it, like, played this game together, I beat him. Never, never had played it before, ever in my life. And he's like, how'd you do that? And I'm like, beginner's luck. But I would definitely put this on this list. Of course, uh, this isn't a top 10 list in any way. This is just a random assortment of five uh, games that are perfect for uh, Independence Day. But basically what this game is, is it's just party games and it's perfect for family to play so there it is the next game is an uh, another nintendo 64 game mario kart 64 
If you watched our previous episode, I talked about this game as being one of my childhood favorites, and to this day, it still is. If you're unfamiliar with the Mario Kart series, which if you're into gaming, you shouldn't be, uh, unless you're under 15 and you're watching these videos, uh, the Mario Kart series is basically a racing game, and, well, you play Mario characters and you race around in carts. It's pretty straightforward, and it originated with a game on the Super Nintendo. Of course, today there's a bunch of Mario Kart games, and there's plenty to choose from, but I always thought that the pinnacle of Mario Kart started with Mario Kart 64. Because honestly, it's still my favorite to this day, and I don't think it can get any better than that. Not even the new ones. I'm, I'm sorry if you don't feel that way, but I do. Just something about it on the Nintendo 64 has a charm that brings so much nostalgia to me. And that's why, to me, it is the best one out of the entire series. Of course, this game is perfect to play with friends and family. Um, you could have your friend, like on 4th of July. My friends used to come over on 4th of July, and we used to play Mario Kart uh, 64. And it, it was one that we played frequently, um, you know, on non-holidays. But I also had family over, which threw things into the mix. And, of course, I had that one cousin who got upset because they lost and they would attempt to smash one of my controllers which i would have to stop them and calm them down and this happened pretty frequently especially during the holidays so i definitely would say mario kart 64 is a little bit more tame than mario party um just slightly but i think it deserves to be on on this list and of course the last one on our list for our uh, top on them. We're not going to call it a top. It's going to be a five, five games to play on 4th of July or Independence Day. Super Tecmo Bowl or Tecmo Super Bowl. Tecmo Super Bowl, that's what it's called. Nothing gets more American than football. Um, unless you don't follow football and follow NASCAR instead, then NASCAR is the most American thing. Well, we're not going to get into that today. This game is perfect to play uh, on the 4th of July or Independence Day. I know I keep saying or Independence Day because, and you know, we'll get into that later. Uh, maybe not. Uh, Tecmo Super Bowl is perfect because uh, you can impress your friends. Or you could just sit there and play it with your friends and... And, you know, make your friends mad. Not not to the extent of making them mad, you know, in your family, too. Not to the extent of making them mad, uh, like when you play Mario Party or Mario Kart 64 or any other Mario Kart game. Uh, but uh, it, it definitely deserves to be on, on the list. Of course, if you're not a football fan, then you may want to go with one of the other games on our list. And that's surprising that it's one of the only sports games on the list. Man, I say list a lot. So, that is the top. Uh, we're not going to call it a top. That is five games to play on Independence Day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And my question for you in the comments down below. If you are watching this uh, before the 4th of July uh, 2019. Or if you're watching it after. You have a whole year to, uh, to think about this. Uh, what games... Do you enjoy to play on the 4th of July or Independence Day? Or if you're in another country, uh, your Independence Day or whatever it's called, what games, uh, video games do you like to play? Um, tell us in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications of when we do more awesome videos. Uh, we have, I believe, one or two more maybe planned for this week. Uh, we won't have any on 4th of July, just so you know. So you'll have to survive a day without our videos. But if you haven't watched our other videos, you have an entire day to binge watch all our episodes. There's over 50-some episodes that you can enjoy. And um, you'll love them, we promise. And there's some new stuff in there, too. Of course, some of it's a little out of date by now. Um because it was news that was released about a month or so ago, but you can watch through it, or you can skip over it and go to the next episode, or you can go through and pick out some of your favorite episodes to watch. Um, but uh, if you want to watch those, you can go to my channel and find the playlist called Starship Gaming, 
simply click on it, click on the first episode and start from the beginning. Or if you want to learn about a certain subject that we've covered or just for entertainment purposes, click on it, watch it. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this episode and until next time, I'll see you and I hope you have a great 4th of July slash Independence Day. And I've really said that a lot in this episode. So I'll see you later.